Welcome to your inspirational astrology horoscope for Tuesday, June 10th, 2014. I am astrologer David Palmer, the Leo King, here to illuminate the collective consciousness. Are you joining me for my big event out in Sedona with One Feather? This thing is going so exciting. It's getting so big. We have so many people going now, and I'd love for you to join us. Join me at leokingevents.com if you want to join us for the big event. It's almost about just like one month away. And if you want to join me on my Facebook group, Leo King Astrology, we're already all starting to chat there. People are getting things going. And we've got thousands and thousands, and I mean literally thousands of people chatting it up on that Facebook group. Even if you're not coming to the event, check it out. And we have some serious stuff to talk about today. But sometimes serious things, and I should probably put a little bit more of a serious demeanor here, but sometimes serious things are needed, especially in times like we're in right now. We've just had Neptune go retrograde and we've had Mercury go retrograde. This has to deal with intuitive aspects of ourself, our mental aspects, and especially in how the emotions flood these waters in our life because we are dealing with the Jupiter in Cancer, which is here to expand our emotions in many ways. And to see Mercury go retrograde in Cancer, a water sign dealing with emotions, there's a lot of other directions we're turning emotionally, feelings changing, more importantly, this is Neptune that's gone retrograde. So we could be really starting to become consciously aware. I didn't get to talk about that yesterday, but Neptune coming retrograde is gonna to start to make you consciously aware of areas that you might have been lost in. You could have been going through a lot of energy in your life, now you have to get really deep in your own astrology. But see where Neptune is. This is definitely a very confusing place in your chart. And I think that it's important to see that we are really becoming aware of our subconscious issues. So in our lives, we're faced right now with a lot of direction changes and the universe bringing a lot of changes. We're changing our feelings about things. We're really looking at all the questions, the excitement and, and new areas. I've been calling it switching lanes, you know? Even though we might have a final destination, we're taking different freeways, we're taking different roads, we're getting out of the carpool lane, we're getting the fast lane, we're getting the slow lane. You know, we're switching things up a lot right now. There's a lot of this switch coming and a lot of doors opening up. But today, the moon in Scorpio is still in water, still in these deep emotional placements, dealing with our very much our intensity of ourselves, our own private spaces, and with the sun in Gemini, you know, a, uh, this is a weird angle, especially as there's going to be a quincunx between the sun and the moon and the sun and Saturn that's been going on. And I think a lot of this is, you know what? I think we're ready for work in our lives. If you look at the chart, Venus is starting to oppose Saturn, and this is going to be one of the big transits that happen here in the next couple days. And what is this? Well, Saturn is decision. Saturn is work. Saturn is in Scorpio especially. So it's this energy of the work of us stepping into our truth. No BS. I always preach that. I'm a huge preacher of Scorpio. You know, I'm always like, yeah, bring that truth, baby. But what's interesting is Venus is in its natural sign of Taurus coming towards a big opposition. And what this means is there's a lot of exposing in our relationships because Venus is relationships. Venus is also our money. It's our financial situations. It's more importantly, our manifesting skills. It's showing and highlighting, especially if Neptune is con retrograde and Mercury retrograde, it's highlighting our subconscious, our mental understandings, and becoming this really weird emotional clarity of, are we really manifesting the right stuff? And I'm not saying negative, I'm also saying positive. This could be where it's like, holy cow, I'm ready to manifest this. This is what I'm doing, it's part of my truth, I'm ready to go. This opposition, when, you're list when you bring both together, because what is an opposition? It's a tug of war. Imagine if both teams got together and they tugged one thing. They could probably pull an elephant out of a pool, you know what I mean? But when they're not working together, they're pulling the elephant's legs over here and over there, and then the tusk is going, Rah! you know, it's like, doesn't really work out. So when Venus and Saturn start to make an opposition, what the moon is going to highlight today, so this is almost a, a test today that I see coming is, are you manifesting the right crap? Are you in the right relationships? Are you, you really stepping into your worth? You know, this could be where you just realize, holy cow, I'm not. Holy cow, I'm really like living in some sort of fakeness. Or you're realizing the depths of what you have to do for work to get to that manifesting. When the moon comes on Saturn, it can be really difficult if you're not willing to put work in. This could be a day where people who don't like to work, who are lazy, who are wanting to just scatter around, this could be where hard aspects hit you. But for those putting the work in, for those really wanting to work, for those ready to step into their great power, 
This is where you can find it today. This is an excellent day to make business deals. This is an excellent day to look at decisions to make in your life. But if you're not one of those people and you're lost and you're scattered and you're noticing that Neptune's taking you on a wild ride, that you're unsure of what your feelings are in your life, there's this deep truth that maybe you haven't sat in yet that it highlights today. And the card of the day, phew, I love this card. I don't know why I'm gonna be honest with you guys before I show you the card. I was, even though the moon's on Saturn and usually this is a very serious day, there was a part of me that really intuitively felt when I was looking at the chart that the moon on Saturn's about empowering right now, especially as Venus is opposing it. Like this, are you gonna step into your power? And I've been talking in my webinars, if you've watched them, about you're either a superhero now, or you're falling like a just loser kind of energy. Like, you know, because the universe is really coming through and hitting everybody in, in many ways and forcing us to be superheroes in ourselves. You know, and not to be crybaby so much. And it's, it's difficult. It's like, you got to be a crybaby, but be your own superhero. You've got to do all, you got to play all these different roles. That's your honest and Aries. It's forcing you to kind of be on the fly and different and unique and change it up with these really exciting new personas. Many masks, many faces, especially as we're in Gemini, it's all these masks, right? It's all these personalities we're dealing with. It's all of these curiosities. The card of the day is the nine of cups upright, which is your greatest feelings. Are you really feeling the best in your life? And that is a moon in Scorpio. A moon in Scorpio actually to me is the nine of cups because when you receive, which is Scorpio, sex, taxes, you know, other people's money, investments, when you get it all and it's in your house, you feel good. You know, when you get the girl, when you get the dude, when you get it in your life, you're like, yeah, I got it, I feel great. That's another Taurus aspect, it's like I manifested it. Today it wants to show you, and maybe if you don't have it, because this could be a day where if you don't have the money, you don't have the things that you want, you don't have the emotional connection, you don't, you don't, you don't, especially with Mars and Libra weighing things out and squaring Pluto and there's this, this intense action that we want to make towards change and commitment. Don't let that get you today. Focus on what it is you do want and start to lay down the foundation of your truth and the work. Maybe there's some tough decisions to make in your life now. And maybe they're going to bring you towards the highest road. Sometimes we have to make these choices, whether they're in relationships, whether they're in jobs, whether they're in where you're living, to do what's best for you to manifest the best life possible. And all of those aspects are hitting us super hard today. Check out my website, inclusiveastrology.com, if you have any questions or if you want to get a one-on-one -on -one reading with me. Thank you so much for all of your support, and I will see you guys tomorrow.